Welcome back everyone to my channel. I hope you are all doing great today because I have a great video for you guys today. We're going to look at Waves GTR3 guitar software. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing. So let's jump right into the software. So let's open Waves GTR3. So the first thing I want to show you is in this guitar software, you can blend two different kinds of amps together at the same time, allowing you to get width and in your mix and wider guitars. So let's, so I have GTR3 opened here. So let's say we want to change this amp on the right side. Okay, right over here. All we would have to do is click on the arrow down here and go and let's say you want to have a bass guitar sound. Oh, then this is for a bass amp, but I'm going to, but let's go to clean tones here. Okay. Um, or distortion, high gain, and this is actually a word I can't even pronounce. So, but I'm going to show you the tone that I have here now, and it's sound. It's one of my favorite tones, actually. So, take a listen to this. What I love, what I love about these amps is that every time you play a chord you can hear each chord that you play, which is excellent. So some amps that you play, actually they really, every time you play a chord, what happens is when you move on to the next chord, the first chord is actually still playing, kinda like in the background. So you don't really hear the second chord that you play, but, in this amps, you can hear each chord, which is awesome. So take a listen to this. Notice how all of the chords actually break up and you can hear each sound each chord it sounds great so let's walk I'm gonna walk you through the software now all right so as you see you can have two amps on each side to blend them together to get that nice wide sound that you want so let's say here I want to have let's leave this amp on this side and then maybe on this side you want to have a different tone you know let's say we go to drive and you pick and overdrive tone. There you go. Let's take a listen. That actually sounds really good. You get the separation you got one tone on one side and one tone on the other side coming out of your studio monitors and it sounds awesome. All right, so I'm gonna go through the different tones actually now and so you guys can see what we got here. So here's your bass tones, all of them here for this amp. Now your clean, direct, clean, warm, punchy, and sweet. The drive, you got edgy, cream, drive, overdrive, scream. Then the high gain, you got crunch, crush, monster, inferno, uh, shredder, mon munder, something. So they got a lot here for the amps. And then the same thing is on this side too. Um, then what you can do is on the cabinets, you have all these cabinets to pick from. 
So you can do a 12 inch open back cabinet, a 15 inch closed back cabinet, a 12 by 2 by 12 inch closed back cabinet, and then the same thing on this side. And then you have all these microphones to pick from. You got dynamic, you got ribbons, you got condensers, and then same thing. Then moving down here to the bottom of the amp, you got that you can control the air. So if you want to get more high end um, delay, uh, the phase issues that you can fix, volume, uh, pan. So you can pan one knob going this way, one amp, and then pan the other going the other way, and then you get that stereo field. So that's pretty cool. So let's move to um, the stomp box now. Now here's your pedal board. Now one thing you can do is over here is your amp. And what you can do is you can either leave your amp right here where it is, or you can actually move it around. So if you want to put it like in the center here, you can, or all the way over here, you can put it anywhere you want. I usually leave it over here. So all to change your pedals, all you have to do is click on this arrow and you have all these pedals to pick from to build your pedal board, which is awesome. So you got buzz pedal, a chorus, compressor, delay, distortion, a doubler, EQ, flanger, fuzz, gate, compressor and gate, uh, latest, metal, octave, overdrive. I mean, it's just endless of what you can pick from. And the pedals in here just sound incredible. So let's actually put a pedal on and I'll show you how it sounds. Let's add a overdrive. Now, now, I don't know about you, but that sounds insane, like awesome. All right, so let's move to something else I'm going to show you. All right, let's, leave, let's move to a metal pedal. That sounds really cool. All right. So you got so much capability here and the tones are awesome. So let's actually move back to my amp for a second here. And I want to show you something else. So what you have down here is you got um, a sync button. And what you can actually do with that sync button is whatever your tempo is to your song, you can actually click that, type in your tempo, and actually set your guitar amps to the tempo of your song so that you're always going to be in time. That's an awesome feature. All right, let's move on. You got a tuner here then. And then all the way over here at the end, you got your presets. So you can pick whatever preset that you want. So. There you go. This is the Waves GTR3. Uh, I mean, it sounds amazing. I would highly recommend that you guys try it out. You can download the free demo on waves.com. Um, I probably will post a link to it down below in my description. Check it out. The tones are amazing. And um, it's awesome. So... If you guys haven't subscribed yet to my channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit that notifications button so you know whenever I have a new video coming out. And smash that like button. And also tomorrow I have a new video coming out. 
where I'm actually going to be recording the guitars to my new song. I actually have the session actually pulled up right here now, as you can see. And maybe you guys, I'll actually play a little bit of a preview for you guys. There's only, so as you see, I only have the drums here. I have the bass guitar and the back and tracks, but so tomorrow, make sure you come back for the next video and I will see you then. All right. See ya.